We've got a website. It's a big website. Ours really isn't, but we'll pretend. And we need to do a little bit of finding and a little bit of replacing. So do this. Open up Rose HTML document. Now notice as you read it, there's the word A-N-D. And I don't like using the word A-N-D, like erect, shrubs, and climbing. I like to use the symbol, the ampersand symbol. Now what I want to do is a find and replace. It's pretty straightforward, but there are a couple of fun things that we can add to it. Go up to the word edit on the pull down menu and go down to find and replace. Let me go ahead and move that over a little bit like this. In this area, you have a find in. Now the default is current document. That's where we are. But if I click this button right here, I can say, well, I've got some text selected and that's the only area I want you to look in. I've got open documents, more than one, and I want you to look in all of those. I have a particular folder. Most designers, when you're doing a website, have a folder for all of their web pages. Sometimes it's called pages, sometimes it's called web pages, whatever. You could say, just look in this folder, because actually I have some other folders that have web pages. I don't want you to look in those. We can select files over here and use those, or just do the whole local site. Let's go ahead and stay with current document for now. What we're looking for is text within the body of the HTML document. Now you can go to source code, we'll talk about some of these later, advanced text searches, and even specific tags within the source code, like a bold tag or an H1 tag. Let's just stick with text for now. I'm looking for and, A-N-D, and I want to replace it with the symbol. So we'll come down here and type in an ampersand. All right. I want to match case. Why? Well, the word and, based on grammar, is not supposed to start a sentence, but it's actually changing. And the word and is all right at the beginning of a sentence. But if it's at the beginning of a sentence, I don't want it to be an ampersand. I want it to be just the word and, and it would be capitalized, and that's not. So I'm going to say match case. I'm going to match whole word. Think of it this way. My last name is Anderson, A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. If I didn't put on match case, because of course you capitalize Anderson, and I said, don't match whole word, guess what would happen? Well, basically it would change Anderson to ampersand E-R-S-O-N, which is again, not what I want. I just want the word and, it'll look for space on either end, that's what it's going to use. Ignore white space compresses any white space down to one, and that's usually good for matching, and we'll talk about expressions in a minute. So let's go ahead and say find next. Let me move this so we can see it. And there it is. It found one. We could keep this up, but I know what I've done. My logic is correct. I'm just saying replace all. And when we do that, it's going to give us this box down here. And this opens up by default. It's the search panel. And in the search panel, you can see all of the ones that it changed. And all you have to do is double click on them to reselect them. For example, Maybe you decide that some of them are not really what you wanted to change. Well, you could come here, click this button right there, which reopens Find and Replace. Now it's showing me automatically, oh, you're looking for the ampersand, yeah. You know what? Some of these need to go back to A and D. I made a mistake here. So you put it in like this. That one is selected. You can say Replace right over here. Let me move that over a little bit more. And there you go. So you can keep that up. You can make other changes over here if you want to do that. Let's go ahead and close out of here for a second. And let's go ahead and get rid of this area down here. I'm going to right click right about there and say close that group out. Okay, back to where we started. We got some ampersands. We got an and down here that we changed. And we're happy. But you know what? We've got more documents than this. Now we only have four pages in total. So let's do this. Let's open up these other pages. Okay, now they're all open. Let's go ahead and go back into Edit Find and Replace. Move that up here for a minute. I want to find and, and I want to replace it with the and symbol, the ampersand. I want to match case and whole word. This time, not the current document. All open documents. And this time, I'm just going to say replace all. Now you can see it replaced some in the sunflower, in rose, 
and in Lily, but apparently in Iris there are no ANDs to change. Again, if we want to check them out, we can double click them right here and it'll take us right to them. We can click over here if we want to make a change. But let's make this a little bit more practical here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to close these documents and I'm not going to save them. So we're kind of taking this thing back before we did any changes to it. Close them, don't save them. Let's begin again by opening up one of them. Let's go back to rows. And there we are, just the way it was when we started. Let's close this out again for now to give us a little space to see. Andy, what you did was okay, and that makes sense. It's kind of cool that you can find a replace. I mean, I've been doing that in other programs like Microsoft Word, but I'm talking about 150 pages in my website. This is a major website. And I do want to change something like a copyright notice. Maybe you made changes, and basically you need to change the copyright notice on every one of the pages from 2011, say, to uh, 2012. Do you expect me to open up 150 pages? No, I don't. So let's do this. Let's come back up to the word edit and go down to find and replace one more time. And here, not open documents. Either folder. Now, if we select folder, we can come over here and click in this area or click here and find the folder that all the documents are in and open that up. We can say selected files in the site, which would require us, no big deal, to select them over here before we do the find and replace. Or we could say, hey, just do the whole site. Now the whole local site includes anything, HTML documents, text documents, whatever it is. I think I'm gonna go for folder because I put all of my documents, all my 150 pages in that one folder right here. And it will always take you to your site, which is nice. Now, if we're confident everything is gonna work, we're happy, and you click replace all, you're gonna get a warning. This operation cannot be undone if the documents are not currently open. So that's the downside to this. It's gonna do it for you. It'll do all of them, but you cannot undo documents that are not open. So I'm not going to do it. But that would be a way to take a large site and actually put it together. Now, two other things real quick up here I'll show you in Find and Replace. One is this button right here. You spent a lot of time making this query. I know it's a difficult one. You got and and you got the symbol down here, you match case and you match whole word. And you don't want to lose that because that took a lot of work to make it. You can click here and give it a name and save it. Then the next time you need it, you can click here and bring it back up again. Find and replace. We're not done with it. We're just done with this lesson. Is a really cool way not just to change text, as you're going to see in the next lesson, but just actually about anything you want to if it's got letters of the alphabet or numbers in it. On to the next.